today we're making a full application uh, with tabs, objects, fields, all with access specifically allowed from a permission set. So not because of profiles, but because of permission sets. Let's get started. Once you're inside your playground uh, for Trailhead, you're gonna go ahead and click on the gear icon on the top right and click on setup. You've got your object manager tab here, so we're gonna click on that. And might have a little pop-up. We're gonna ignore that for now. And we're gonna click on create a custom object. We're gonna do a suggestion objects. So we're gonna do suggestion. All right, we fill that in based off the details. Here we go, the object name is going to be, this is where we're gonna put our prefix. This prefix helps us look at, so if there's multiple people in the orders or multiple projects being run, um, we can make sure that we have our prefix there so that people know this belongs to our team. Put an inscription there. Let's check out our record name. We've got suggestion name there. It is a type of text. That will actually be where they input stuff. We're not gonna do an auto number. Uh, we do want them to input that. And then we're gonna come down here and we do want to allow reports. We do want to allow activities. We also want to allow uh, search right there. All right, everything else is good. Let's go ahead and click on add notes and attachments just to make sure that's available to us. And then we're gonna click launch new custom tab wizard. So that's gonna put us straight into it. We don't have to worry about it. We're gonna click save and we're already in that. Now, let's say we weren't here. Um, you would come over to the quick find, you would type in tab and you would click on tabs. You would click on new custom object tab and you'd be in that same spot. You would just select your object. So all that wizard did was just skip us straight over to here. Pick a tab style, not important which one. We're gonna put a description. Once we've put the description, we're gonna click next. Now what we're gonna do here is make sure we have tab hidden. So it's gonna be tab hidden for everyone. No one's gonna be able to see it. We're gonna click next. And since we don't have our custom application open, we're gonna click that off. Okay, but we're gonna leave this one on and click save. Now that it has been created, it is a tab um, and it can be seen uh, by anyone who's going to eventually have the permission set. But let's go ahead and make an application to house the tabs. Remember, so a tab is just a you know to surface an object and then an application will be so that we can collect all of our tabs together. Type in app and we're going to head over to app manager. And we're going to do a new lightning app. The app name is going to be suggestion box the developer name you see it's going to put there this is another place for us to put our prefix that prefix there again this is an api name we'll see that on the back end this is what the the user will see suggestion box put in a description I'm not going to worry about changing the color and we're going to click next we're going to keep all of this as default and click next we're not gonna worry about this. You can come back to this, but we're not gonna worry about this now. We'll click next. And now this is where we're actually gonna be able to grab and move things on here. So the first thing we're gonna find is our suggestion. And there it is. We're gonna click it, add it over there. And now we have our suggestions on the app over here. Um, we are also going to add reports and dashboards. We're going to click next. Now on the user profiles, um, we're going to give access based to the permission set. So we're not going to have any profiles here and we're going to click save and finish. Not to verify that we've done our changes. We're actually going to come over here to the app launcher. We're going to click on the app launcher and we're going to type in suggestion. Oh, we don't have anything there, but that's all right. You know why? Because we have not given anyone access. No one can access, and even us as system admins can access that. So suggestions needs to be exposed um, using our specific permission set. So we're going to create that next. So from the setup menu, in the quick find, we're going to type in permission. You see we have permission sets, so we're going to click on that. This permission set is going to grant access. It cannot remove access. It's going to grant access to the objects, the tabs, the apps, all of that. So we're going to go ahead and click on new. 
and we're going to name this permission set, giving it the label, the API name, another place we're going to put our prefix to identify it as ours. We have our admin there, a short description. All right, nothing else needs to be filled out after the description. We're going to click save. We're going to click on assigned apps. We're going to click edit. Here on the left side, we're going to see our suggestion box. And we're going to add that over to the side and click save. So we've assigned that app as part of this permission set access so they can get to that app. And so now we're going to click. And we're going to come down to object settings. I'm going to scroll down until we see suggestions. Now this is going to be the plural version of our custom object. So if you're looking for suggestion, you're not going to find it. Suggestions is going to be right here. You can see no access. We're going to click on that. We're going to click edit under the tab settings. We're going to click visible. And for this, we're going to want create and we want modify all. All right. And the idea here is that an admin is going to be able to view all records with this permission set and be able to modify all records, including delete. Um, okay. And we also want them to be able to create. So we added that also so the, they can do that as well. All right. You can have all of these and not create. We do want them to be able to create. We're going to click save. We're going to click on manage assignments so that we can assign it to ourselves. Add assignments. So at the checkbox, you may need a, a different view. So if you need to find yourself somewhere in here, um, if you need to look through and figure out where you are, maybe in one of those views, uh, but locate your name and then click assign. And we're going to click done. Now I'm going to go up to the app launcher and type in suggestion. And there it is. Hip, hip, hooray. We can see that we are in the suggestion. We've got that. We have our reports. We have our dashboards just like we set out. And all of that is available. And I could create a new one right here. This is pretty good, but you can see that our new suggestion right here, it's just got a suggestion name. We don't have much else here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add more fields for input. So from here, we're going to click on the gear again. It's going to pop up in another tab. Let's go ahead and close out the previous one there. And so now we're going to go back to our object. You can actually click the down arrow and you should be able to go right back to the object we were recently working with. In the event that you can't, um, or you clicked on object manager and you can't find it, you can look through here. And you can be searching based off of the label name. Click on it. We're going to click on the fields and relationships, and we're going to click on new. Now, the first thing we're going to be doing is adding a data type. We've selected a text area for long. Our field name, suggestion description. And we're looking at 32, 768. Uh, that's how long it can be. We're going to do 10 lines visible. And the field name is going to auto populate. We don't need to worry about our prefix here because our field names will always be attached to the objects. And we put the prefix on the objects. So we are good here. We're going to enter in some help text so that our users can get some more information on what this field is asking them to do. And we're going to click on next. All right, from here, we're not going to give any access through profiles. So we're going to click visible and then click it again. So we've clicked it two times. It's removed it for all profiles. We're going to click next again. We do want to add it to the page layout and we're going to click save and new. We're going to add another field. This data type is going to be a pick list. Uh, we're not doing a multi-select. We only want them to pick one option. So we're doing a pick list. Enter in the name. It'll auto populate down here. And then we're going to go ahead and enter values. So we're going to click that. We're going to do enter values and we're going to type those in. Our example is a space station. So we've got some silly different categories here. Uh, I mean, weapons and kitchen. Sure, those need to go hand in hand. And then we're going to deselect restrict pick list to the values defined in the value list. So if they come up with another category um, and they want to add that in there, we can allow that. We're going to click on next. Select visible two times. Make sure that it's unchecked all of them there. We're going to click next and then save and new. We've got another pick list field. This one's going to be our status. We're going to enter in those values. We've got new. 
we're going to do something special here. We're going to make this new our default value. So that's going to be our first default value. If they forget to change it, it'll just be new. Field name is status. We do want to keep that checked. And we're going to click next. Visible, check two times to make sure it's cleared out for everyone. Click next. Save and new. And this is going to be the last custom field that we're going to add. It is going to be a date. Come down here and select date. Click next. This is going to be the implemented date. We're going to leave the defaults. We're going to click next. We're going to check visible two times to clear it out for everyone. Again, we're giving them access based off of permission set. Click next. We're at this one and we're going to click save. Now, if you didn't keep a tab open, um, we're going to go ahead and click on the app launcher and type in suggestion. Now I'll open this back up. We are here. We're going to click on new and oh man, we don't have access. Guess what? We've got to update our permission set. So if you aren't already in setup, click and click into setup. In the quick find box, we're going to type in permission, permission set. There we go. All right. Field level security is the best way to control and restrict access to information. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Suggestion box admin. That's the permission set we want to do. We are going to click on object settings. We're going to scroll down until we find suggestions and we're going to click edit. Now at the bottom, you're going to see a little bit of difference. We have now our field level permissions, our field level permissions here. So what we're going to do is because this is the admin, we're going to give them edit access to implement a date, to status, to the suggestion description and the suggestion category. Notice that there's some of these that are grayed out that we cannot change. We do have edit access for all of those, which obviously gives them read access. And we're going to click save. Now, some of you might be thinking, oh, wait, we've got a suggestion box admin. Should we make a user? And yes, we should. So we're actually going to make a user. So because we're already in here, we're going to click on clone. It's going to be sandbox user. All right, it's got the prefix on there for user level access to these. So we've changed that description. We click save. Everything's going to be very similar, except we're going to go to object settings and we're going to give them a different level of access. Come down to suggestions. We're going to click edit. And the only ones they're going to have edit access to, so we're going to only edit access on category and description. So status and implemented date are not, they're not going to have edit access for that. The status will be handled by the admins and the implemented date will be handed, handled by something else. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Click back on our app launcher and now we can use our app. And click on new. And you can see we have our layout here. We've got our information there. More pretzels. It's going to be my suggestion. The category for that is definitely going to be kitchen snack. And the description, I would like more pretzels with peanut butter inside. And there it is. We've got the information there. And it's all set up for us um, for us to do. We do have admin access, so we can actually go in there and edit these things.